everybody i am alpha bird so we're going back to the steel division league this is season five we are in division four we're looking at the grand final and the two players playing are at kurtz versus dark neutron so we're only going to see one game from the the division four grand finals it was i believe a best of five um, but we're just going to pick out one game and have a look at it. Hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm definitely enjoying the lower league casts. I would say at the moment, I'm enjoying them much more than the, the high division casts as such. So let's have a look at the decks. On the left-hand side today, we have Apkertz. He is playing the third Falschemjäger on balanced income. And um, the deck itself, let's have a look. 74 units of Folsham Jaegers, or, or infantry, should I say, not Folsham Jaegers, although the majority are Folsham Jaegers. We've got some Folsham Pan Pioneers um, in B and C as well. The Folsham Panzer Advia are something to look out for. They're kind of the sneaky beaky recon behind enemy lines with the Panzer Shreks. They can get some pretty nasty kills. Uh, what do we have here? What, 12 Stug 3Gs and some Panzer L6. So it'd be nice to see the Panzer L6 in action. I don't think we saw them the last time we looked at the third Falschemjäger. The LG42 can be a potent weapon. Uh, and plenty of AT guns in here, the Pack 38s and the Pack 40s. Uh, this is on... Uh, the Burning Baltics patch. So this is post the Burning Baltics range updates. Just so you're all aware. So those, uh, certainly the Pack 41 Gerlic guns will be uh, very restricted in range. They were restricted previously as well, but the Pack 38s as well, the APCR on those. And plenty of Flak 41 88 mils in this deck. Ten of them. That's a lot of Flak 41 88s. Not sure... At Kurtz, we'll be able to get all of them out on the ground. But I guess if he's balanced income, uh, he does have a lot of sea phase income, but that's six minutes worth just to get those uh, that sea phase card out. In terms of planes, the JU-88S1 is kind of, I think, quite a cool napalm uh, plane. It is very devastating so if you like uh, watching the action i don't like to relate it to real life i guess but if you like watching the action then ju 88 s1 is a pretty devastating plane on the right hand side we have the uh, 20th panzer today played by dark neutron he is on maverick income so we got maverick versus balance dark neutron is definitely going to want to try and finish this off early on in the game he will probably want to get the victory by the 30 minute mark because going beyond that balance really starts to outfavor the Maverick C phase income. In terms of the deck, we got some Panzer 3Ms. They can be very strong along with the Panzer 3Ls as well. There's some Panzer 4 F1s in the support tab, but they are more against uh, kind of like anti infantry sort of vehicles. The so same with the Panzer three ends in b phase not many tanks in not many panzer 4 h's really in this deck only one card of two star panzer 4 h in b phase uh, then we're on to a c phase card of panzer 4 g's plenty of those in the deck um yeah very small amount especially considering this is maverick income so the b phase income is you know the biggest phase but i guess dark neutron is thinking that he will bring out probably the boy to stalin at the first tick in B phase, we got the Flak 41s in B phase. We've also got the Pack 43s in B phase. You know, lots of expensive units that were for Um So, yeah, I'm imagining those, you know, if you did have more cards of Panzer 4 HS, you're not necessarily going to be able to bring them all in in B phase. Interesting to point out all the same, I think. Okay, so I think that's the Dex run through. Let's uh, get ourselves going with the game. And we do see that early JU-88S1. Uh, thanks very much to Rooster, who joined the channel members recently as well. So on the left-hand side, 
In blue, we have Atkurtz playing the third foul from Jaeger on balanced income with the early JU88S1 to try and cover the road. And on the right-hand side, in red, we have Doc Neutron playing the 20th Panzer on Maverick Income. Just look at that rectangle of fire. <laughs> that plane is just... It's very expensive, though. I don't think I can bring up the tab, and I've just come out of the deck um, planner. But, yeah, it is a very expensive start, so that will restrict Atkurtz from putting out other units. Um... So perhaps Dot Neutron can take advantage of that. It looks like a, an early half trap plane to the centre with plenty of Panzer uh, Panzers going in there as well. So the troops have diverted off the road. I wouldn't. I mean, it has allowed Atkus to capture the flag, but there are a lot of troops in here, especially with the Pioneer SVTs coming in as well. It's a J, uh, ME109 just hit the Falschermjäger up north. Very weak northern flank for Dark Neutron from the looks of it. So we'll have to see whether Atkurtz can um, command that northern side. Sorry for the stutter there. Hopefully it won't affect the game too badly. I think I'm having some internet issues recently. Despite the uh, flame, the napalm covering the road, it looks like Dark Neutron has the numbers advantage on his side. Although now the there's that Strupen and the Panzerbrenn Führer have to back off. But a fair few Ye fans, um, fair few folks from Jaeger have been taken down. Half tracks look like they're going to start to move in. The L6 has been forced off the road by the Panzer 4 F1 as the folks from Jaeger now get targeted by that F1. And I feel like, unless some reinforcements come in, Dark Neutron is going to pick up the flags down south. Although the uh, Napalm plane did restrict the landing of troops in the area, <laughs> um, perhaps the cost of that plane could have just been put into more infantry to help out. So the Panzer L6 does come around the north. And the Falschermega, does that get not quite in range to fire the Panzerfaust? And the Panzer IV F1 should get involved again. Up to the northern side, wow, we see a lot of tanks that have taken their, made their way around the northern side of the town. Oh no, just decimating the Falschermega now they've been spotted in the house. A hell of a lot of fire. Man, oh man. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be anywhere near that. Dark Neutron picks up the 1311, but there is some movement from Atkurtz up north, which is exactly what he want, needs to do, because there's really nothing from Dark Neutron up north now. Just one Urzatz troop in there, hidden behind the uh, Panzer Shrek, might pick up the kill on the... Panzer L6, but Dark Neutron is just fully invested in the center and the south, really. He's just leaving that northern flank completely exposed in the hope that Atkurtz doesn't push up there. So the tanks are slowly pushing forwards. No real movement from the infantry at the moment. Pack 38's coming in from Atkurtz, which is a uh, decent... It's a, it's a good counter... Ooh, but the Battery Fuhrer reveal themselves. Atkurtz quick on the micro to pull them out of there. Yeah, because he's got to be a bit weary that he doesn't have any infantry in here. So, I like the response, but also... Yeah, we do see some Falsham Jaeger coming in there as well. It's a bit... He's caught in a catch-22 there. He needs to deal with the tanks, but he also needs to bring in infantry. You only have so many points in uh, balance to play early on and a pack 3850 getting very close down south trying to destroy that panzer 4 f1 i feel this is a bit of a mistake here a gurlit gun would have been much better because it's cheaper and yeah that pack 3850 is getting so close i'm not even sure it's going to get the shot off against the panzer 4 before it's going to get destroyed by the pioneer svts panzer 3 out replacement already into place as well Ooh, looks like the pack 38s up north have started firing. I think that was a Panzer 3L that goes down, but the... Yeah. 
Let me wanna know. Fires off against the uh Gurlic gun up north. Oh, and I think there was an M th uh, a 3M went down as well that I uh, wasn't looking at at the time. ME109 comes in for Atkerts, but there is already a Flak 43 on the, the line. And here comes a HS129B2R3. Got Neutron, I think, is going to try and... Yep, he is going to use his 109. I don't think that HS129 is going to get more than one kill here. Ooh, and a double B ME109 coming in. Will the B2 go down? Atkerts has had to pull his fighter away, which leaves the HS129 completely exposed. He's taken a lot of damage now. Will the ME109 get the kill on its final pass? Yeah. Good reactions from Dark Neutron there to bring in his second fighter bomber, and that is a costly loss. And now more Gurlit guns coming in. Four. Kurtz. He's still making moves up north, though. The Panzer L6 is moving forwards, trying to secure the compound up there. And the Ersatz Troopen won't be any trouble. But here's the Panzer 3L. The, the Panzer L6 can't actually fire, though. So at least it's uh, going to move straight out of line of sight there. Down south. Atkins is still putting up a great fight. The Pack 38 did go down. The Panzer IV went down to the Volksjäger with the Panzerfaust. And uh, yeah, I admire the fight because I thought the southern side was over long ago. Panzer 3L starts to move forward. There are still Volksjägers in here with Panzerfaust. So, you know, those units can go down. It is spotted. Ooh, really before the Panzerfaust can get off. And yeah, quick fire onto that Volksjäger. The one up north has been doing a sterling job. An absolute sterling job. Pioneer SVTs use the frag grenade, but um, they might expose themselves here because they're still reloading the frag grenade. There's only four men. The Falsham Jaeger do spot them. Pioneers trying to desperately move away, get the reload on the frag grenade. The Falsham Jaegers can't quite fire while spotting them, and uh, the Pioneers should be okay to re-engage again. They might lose, but they are going to take out a hell of a lot of Falsham Jaeger at the same time. That curse has managed to hold on to the flag with the battery fuel. We've got some reinforcing Falsham Jaeger in there. A couple of Gurlit guns. These can only fire at 1,000 meters. But 1,000 meters is exactly what they have. ME109 continues to harass up north. There's a garlic gun. Wow. Like, tiniest amount of suppression there. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one of these Gurlit guns recently. ME109 G6 R6 comes back in for Atkerts, trying to stop those uh, fighter bomber engagements as the uh, initial Gurlit gun goes down. Oh, and the ME109 goes down. I think the Flak 43 perhaps helped out in that engagement. Panzer 4 going down there, but will the Gurlit gun get the second one? It's hard to actually see the uh, the shots come in from those Gurlit guns because they're so small caliber. I think they're... I don't know what the special factor is on that gun. Oh, well, here comes the fighter bomber. Yeah, finishes it off. Now we see the uh, Flak 3637 from Atkerts. That is going to help him out as another Gurlit gun gets ordered in. 12-12. <laughs> we are almost into B phase. Doc Neutron does have himself a decent position on the battlefield, though. And with that B phase, 170 points of income, as well as an off map about to smash the center town, you can see the opportunity ahead for Dark Neutron. Yeah, is having to reinforce the south. The uh, Pioneer SVTs went down, and I imagine the uh, Fulcrum Jäger up here also went down. Might be this squad down here, but. It was like a long way to move to get him out of uh, position. Panzer L6 does spot the Ersatz Truppen, but Dark Neutron quick enough to move that out of the way. We do have a Panzer Shrek in here now that should be able to take out that Panzer L6. Looks like the L6 up north has found the Ersatz Truppen, forced them back, and the AB41 finds another one. 
They should reconnect and ensure the uh, front line holds stable. Panzer L6 will hold the flag up there anyway because it is a raider unit. Kind of surprised Doc Neutron hasn't moved his Panzer Shrek up north or even just slightly out and it will pick up that Panzer L6. It's currently facing the wrong way, so Dark Neutron missing the opportunity right now. But here it goes. Panzer Shrek moving forwards. You can just see the two men there push out the heavy trees. Take the shot and get the kill. Might well go down to the reply from the Falschmiger there. Very quick reply. Both players have uh, Panzer Shreks in the area. And the Panzer L's are just held back. So Atka is doing enough in the south to hold the flag. Here comes the off map in the middle. As we get in position to see the uh, artillery barrage come down. Looks like the Gurlit gun has a line on the, uh, ah, the half track further up north. There are a, a hell of a lot of heavily pinned down units. Of course you would understand that under such a heavily barrage but no actual kills there i don't think pack 38 cannot fire on the half track the l6 does take it out we've got a t34 42 coming in the gurlit gun focused down just one single rock rocket there no something just looked odd about that animation perhaps it was the angle that we had the t34 42 is trying to get around the side here the um here comes the shot onto the 3850 and the second fighter bomber. We do have a flak 41 in there now. Panzer 3Ls have finally moved forward, but the Panzer Shrek looks like it's going to move into position in the south and pick up the Panzer 3L kill. Here it goes. Nice easy kill there. Back up to the north. And here comes a surrender from the T-34, surrendering the battery Fuhrer. The Falschmjeg, if they hop forward, they could get that kill there. They are going to be exposed to pretty heavy fire, but the Falschmjeg are coming in the trucks are immediately fired on by the T-34. Just managed to unload in time, get off the road. T-34s pushing forwards here for the Germans. <laughs> Falschmjeg are finally discovered in the building, are able to suppress the Urzatz Truppen. The uh, T-34 is able to fire across the open ground there as uh, that alerts Dark Neutron to the threat that he was under at that point in time. Pulls them back. Stug 3G coming up here to help out, but at close range, the T-34s can still get the kills. Stug 3G up north as well, and Atkurt still holds on to the flag in the south, and Atkurt currently has the lead. Dark Sorry, Doc Neutron has the lead in terms of flags, but New <laughs> Atkins has the lead in terms of tickets so far. Now this Doc 3G comes into the picture, and the T-34s immediately start to back off. And a HS-129. Oh, 1-2. Tanks down. Nice move. No fighter bombers in here this time, and the Flak 43 won't be enough to get the kill. So the Stug 3G just... We'll be able to be top dog in the tank stakes at the moment in this center town. And that Kurtz is actually doing a really good job here of holding back Dark Neutron. I feel like Dark Neutron has a great position. We are now into the phase with Maverick. He is going to now leverage that income advantage as we got such a close range Stug 3G and Panzer 3L standoff in the north. But yeah, Akers is doing a fantastic job to hold the flags that he needs to hold. Sturmpain here coming in here. That can definitely face off more easily against the Falschmjäger. I'm waiting for that Stug 3G Panzer 3 engage engagement up north. I'm not sure either player knows where the others are. No, I tell a lie. We have a Ju-87 D5 going to fly right overhead of his own friendly tank. Got to make sure the pilots don't mistake the two, considering that we're in a mirror match and they're going to be firing on German tanks. Here he comes, the dive down. Oh! No, he does get the uh, kill, yeah. It was, a flat, for some reason, the Flak 41 shot. There, just uh, made me think there was a fighter about to come in and pounce on that Ju-87, which was by a shock reaction. But no, it was the Flak 4188. And Dark Neutron has marked that. Might be able to get his off-map into position, unless, no, the off-map is still there. If he carefully moves this forward, perhaps behind this church... He, I reckon he could reach that position there with his off map. 
Here comes another Ju87 trying to take out the Stug 3G, but I think the the um, anti-air, yeah, the Stug's backing off the road, so he should lose line of sight. Does get the clusters off. Doesn't get the kill, and I think it might go down here. This is intense. Will it go down? Yes, yes. I did think it would. Yeah, that was a bit more of a... Well, the, the flak was entirely in the area, so that was a dangerous position. Panzer Shrek looks like it's going to pick up a half-track kill there. Needs to get out of the area. And the Stern Pioneers easily tackle with that two-man squad. So now Dark Neutron has these Stern Pioneers in here that can definitely tangle with the Falschermjägers much more successfully than the earlier Urzatz Truppen. There is an L6 in, though, that can definitely help out. And the Pioneers can't throw the frag grenades while they're on the move due to the uh, flame attacks from the flamethrowers held by the Stern Pioneers. The L6 seems like it's enough to do the job. Dark Neutron pulls those Stern Pioneers away. I think it was the right call. And uh, one of them are taken down on the retreat. And the other one might go down here. I mean, left left to three man. That's just a little bit better than a Flammenwerth squad. So Atkirsi has defended that southern flag remarkably well. I'm very surprised. Another off map into the center. We await that. But Dark Neutron has made ground up here on the north. We haven't really been able to look at this picture up here. The Stug did go down thanks to the JU attack. There is a replacement Stug on the way. But no real infantry to control the ground up north. I'm hearing engagements further south as we see the Falschermiga take out a unit of Urzatz Truppen down there. The Gurlit gun goes down before the ME109 G2R1 can get in. I do feel like Atkirtz could do with a little bit more AA, but at the same time, he's in B phase. He's desperately trying to hold on against Maverick Income. Dot Neutron has himself a 1410, thanks for, to the action up north as we see Falschermiga tackling with Pioneers. Pioneers not in range to throw the frag grenade and they will get taken out, especially because the Falsham Yangers are in the building. Here's the JU-87 trying to hit that Stug and I think he's going to get away with it. There's a JU on the way, not going to engage. Doesn't get the kill there, so it was in suppressed enough that the cluster munitions weren't dropped as effectively as they could be. Oh, and nearly, the Napalm nearly hit the Panzergrens in the building. Both planes passed themselves. <laughs> Makes me think of that meme where they're looking at each other as they pass themselves on the way back to base. And we have the pointer Stalin on the field now to control the area up north. Oh, this is exciting. This is getting exciting. Dark Neutron, 13-11 up. Has 28 minutes to hold, but he's going to go into the low Maverick income in the next two minutes. So 26 minutes of that is going to have to be against... And almost, well, oh, oh, I was going to try and do quick maths as we see a couple of fighter bombers come in. Going to hit those Falschermjägers. These uh, AB-41 might take out those Panzergrens. Yeah, double strike from the ME-109 as the boy to Stalin focus on the Falschermjäger. Into the center, I think we've just had the off map. Perhaps I have missed that. But Dark Neutron's troops are moving forwards once again. The Stug 3G is still in the area, though, and we do still have a Pack 38 covering the road and the close range left. Might have to be a bit, a bit of a snapshot from that Pack 38 if they do move down to the left. The Stug 3G moves forwards, but does come into range of all the tanks. Oh, immediately able to take out a Panzer 3 at end, but the Panzer 3L replies very quickly. Hey, hey, I, the Gurlit gun down here would be lovely right now, but it is going up to the northern picture that, where all of them have gone down. Gone to at that point in time. Do we see the HS129 going against the uh, boy to Stalin? I think we do, but we see the Flak 43 in place. Yep. And this plane's going to go down. Yeah. Ooh, 
destroying buildings on its way out of there. But the Flag 43 sat right next to that boy to Stalin with the grill on the hill. Look at that for a combination of units as the Stug just gets obliterated. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated. I'm assuming that was the boy to stall in there. Actually, it might have been the grill with the HE. I think it was the grill with the HE, which was the reason why the explosion was like so magnificent. <laughs> oh, Dark Neutral 1410 up now, but the Pack 38 should be able to start firing. Wow, it's going to snap. It's going to shoot against the SDK said 251 before the. Oh, no, now the 3L gets into a tight sight line. So it switches target. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. For some reason, it looks like the 3L can see the 38, but it can't. Down south, it looks like we had a J87 come in. There is a Marder 1 in a very nice position now. Uh, but the actual tree lines, all the forests are cleared. And that Kurtz picks up the flag, holds it back to a 1311. The Panzer Shrek could be used against the Marder. It's going to be touch and go, though, whether the Marder spots the Panzer Shrek before it can get into position. Black 41 goes down up north to a grill, I'm imagining. Which is a bit of, bit of a loss there. The boy to Stalin is very far forward, though. And the Pack 38 is now firing on it. Mm. And there's a Pack 40 coming into a close range position here. Might be able to two on one this boy to Stalin. I almost feel like I wanted the Pack 38 to just remain hidden for a little bit longer until the Pack 40 could get into position for the side shot. But it is going to get taken down now. And the boy to Stalin will be able to. Oh, it is moving up north. We might see a side shot here. Here it comes. Dips behind the building for a moment. Has the grill spotted. Oh, now it comes side shot. Oh, what a kill. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. We were waiting. Oh, no. The tension. There's a Stug 3G and T30. No, Stug 3G takes out the T34. Panzer 3L replies again, taking out another Stug. As a Pack 38 takes out the Panzer 3 on the road, the tension, the build up in that Pack 40 shot, and the payoff was just so worth it. Oh, this match has been fantastic. Pack 38, is he going to get a shot against Hearth? No, Hearth turns off the road. As the AB41 goes down to the Panzer 3L up north, we have a Worth Ramen in the area, which is interesting. Um. The 81 mil with the radio might start to help out here. 59 to Dark Neutron. He's definitely taken the lead with his advances in the center for sure. And he's been able to keep that southern flag under his control. So 59, 11 minutes left on the clock as the 81 mil now starts firing on the flak 41. And I believe that will be in radio range. Yeah, definitely. So that should get some accurate shots on that flak 41. And with the fact that it's an 81 mil, it's quite fast firing. That should be able to do the job. I have in the past tended to complain about mortars, but I feel like this is a good position where this mortar can definitely help out against this flat 41. As long as Akert sustain the attack. So he's only given it kind of a one attack move command. I'd shift click that thing about five or six times because you know you're going to have to use up a hell of a lot of ammunition to get the kill. Here's a Wurfram an attack on the uh, Falschmjäger and the Hausers. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they survive here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And that was quite close range as well, so the dispersion was tight. Point. Pack 40 moving forward. Will we see the same against Hearth? Well, let's focus in on Hearth here with a beautiful skin. As the Pack 40 gets into position. Yeah. First shot there doesn't get the kill. Second shot does. So Hearth, the leader, the ace, sorry, of the 20th Panzer. Not the leader, Dark Neutron is the leader as we see some ME-109s come in here. I'm kind of surprised he's using a cluster plane against the SB-4. 
AB41. SBW AB41. Yeah, he calls that one back, I think, in the response to the ME109 G6 R6 fighter. But I think that was a smart move. That plane was going to go down. Or at least it was probably not going to take out something that was worth attempting it as the fighter goes down there. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of AA in here now. And the German AA is very good, very strong. No real movements recently down south. So I think both players are just taking a break from the southern position. <laughs> they're taking a break and they're microing further up north. Here we go. The 81 finally trying to attack again against that Flak 41 there. Does get a direct hit, taking out two men. There's another three men down. So that... Oh, and here come the Falschermjäger. They're going to tangle with the Pioneers. They're heavily suppressed already. MG42 in the Church Tower does fire off straight away. Um, it's 16-8 now to Dark Neutron, but it's feeling a little bit static right now. There's, I feel like Dark Neutron's just taken up the 16-8th and he's just left everything. I'm not sure whether he's taken a break. Doesn't feel like much is happening right now. The MG42 definitely backed off there. <laughs> Here we see another Flak 4188 and an 81 mil come in. We are now into... Well, where? Ooh. The 3G goes down there. And I think it was the Panther 3L. It looked like there was two things that fired at it at the same... I feel like the Marder had a shot there. So I'm not sure which tank actually took out the, uh, the Stug. But yeah, that's a pretty horrible loss. Another air attack run coming down south. The Flak 41 cleans up. Ooh, this could be a devastating worth from and rocket strike coming in here onto the two Flak guns. Adkurtz has been made able to pick up this uh, southern flag and you should be able to, at some point, push back against this southern flag as well. Just real half-tracks in there defending right now. Marder 1 is in a nice position to shoot things coming down the road. We do have a pack 40 here. I feel like that could unload against that Marder 1. Here comes the Wurfram and attack. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Fortunate for Atkirts, unfortunate for Dark Neutron, but you can see the shell locations or the missile crater locations nowhere near the uh, flat guns themselves. So Atkirts gets away with that and he does try and spread out his AA a bit more. Atkirts definitely needs to deal with that Marder 1 as well. It's in a very sneaky location here and he has the equipment to do it. He's got a Falchion Panzer Shrek. It could easily just move up to the edge of this heavy forest and perhaps get the shots off. He, he needs to focus and realise. I'm not sure whether he, he's actually focusing on the area and realising the, the threat down there. Still 16-8 to Dark Neutron. There's six minutes left, but flags are exposed right now. I feel like there's still chance for Atkirts to come in. Down goes the mod art. We just look away for a moment and the Panzer Shrek does deal with it. <laughs> Ah, oh, apologies, my friends, apologies. And Atkirtz moving forwards. He's got Fulsham, uh, sorry, he's got Stern Pioneer and pa Panzergrenz in his way, along with a Panzer 3L. He can take the flag down south. There are opportunities here for him. In fact, there's one, two, three, four flags here, which I believe would equal it, yeah, to a 12 12. He could definitely still do this. The next five minutes are going to be very interesting. Pack 40 is exposed to the Panzergrenz. It's not what you want. Infantry firing on them. And here comes a Ju-87. Which I'm not sure. I think that's... I think that was to try and get the Fulsion Pioneer, Pioneers in the trucks. <laughs> interesting tactic, but not quite going to work out for Dark Neutron. Fulsion Jaegers... There is an ME-109 circling. Looks like it's going to try and hit the area. Is the is that in range for Panzerfaust? No. Back down. No, the ME-109 switches off and comes up north to try and destroy the Panzer. 
uh, sorry, the Falsham Jaegers, the AB41 gets the half track kill. Here's another flag about to get picked up. It's 15-9 still for Dot Neutron. Has the double tick. But once it goes back to the 14-10, there it goes. That's a single tick. Nine minutes left on the clock. Atkert slowly making his way back into this game. He is on balanced income. Dot Neutron and Maverick. Atkert has the big advantage here. May well pick up another flag very soon. Things are getting tense. Things are getting tense. ME109 Rocket Strike about to come in onto the SBW AB41, I assume. No one to the Falsham Jaeger in the building. Mm. Suppress there, so the rocket's not really on target. Battery Fuhrer are being engaged. They are giving their uh, three star command abilities to the Panzer 3L. Although I think they're originally. Yeah, they're originally two star, so. Makes sense. <laughs> Pack 40 slowly making its way forwards, and if it can get into a position you know, on the edge of this, this tree line, and as long as Hackers can hold this forest, it's a very nice position as two more Panzer 4Hs come in to try and help out Dark Neutron in the south. 1410 to Dark Neutron, a couple of Panzer 4s in the set. Sorry, no, Panzer 3N and a Panzer 4 in the center. He's kind of using his tanks now to stand off. He just wants to hold flags and uh, hold his 1410. He's not doing making any attacking moves right now. He's purely on the hold as a HS129 comes in. Oh, and the ME109 is held off. So he can't come in and get the kill onto the 129. And the 129 does succeed, taking out the <laughs> Panzer 3 and 4. Pair of tanks in that area. Black. 4188 mil has gone down to the mortar. Although it probably used all of its HE shells to get the kill. But still, it's a good kill all the same. The Flak 43 can't finish off that HS129. Ocean Pioneer moving forwards. Now, there's only one man in the Stern Pioneer, so I think they will get the uh, win here. Yes, they do. And the Ozats Trooper are spotted up north. That's a big wedge of territory that might get recovered it doesn't make a difference when it comes to flags but it might make Atkerts realize that there isn't actually too much in that tree line well ju going after the stug and this time it will succeed yeah me109 does come in and swoop down and clear it up there's one less ju87 i think we've seen three of them go down i can't quite remember how many dark neutron has but I'm imagining it's three. <laughs> um, let's see. Can we bring it up? Yeah, three. So I believe he is now fully out of those JUs. Opal Blitz goes down to a close range T-34 shot. The Ursatz Troop and go down up there as well. 13-11 to Dark Neutron. 6 minutes 30 left on the clock. Can Dark Neutron hold on here? I think that's the question. He is currently right now, by the skin of his teeth, holding on. But this is close. This is very tight. As the Panzer Shrek starts to move up, I'm not sure whether he's going to spot that Panzer 3 alley. does. Should be another kill here. Yes. Very good kill. That Panzerstreck has been fantastic for Atkerts down south. I don't know whether that's a replacement one or whether it's been in the area for a while, but there's been a lot of vehicle kills. I feel like it would be nice if we could get the AA a little bit closer from Atkerts. You know, might be able to respond a bit quicker. Because right now, Dark Neutron is completely reliant on his aircraft to get a lot of kills. That ME109G2R1's in trouble as well. So if it strafes anywhere north, now it is. It's going to just get fire from a lot of flat guns. Although the Flak 41 up here is out of ammunition, look. <laughs> it's been firing that many times. It's fully out of ammunition as we see another ME109G2BR. 21 come in here. Is it a move 109 G6 R6 is called back? Might be the right choice there. Yeah, it should be fine because it's just the single 37 mil. 
Fan Falchion Panzer Advi, we haven't seen them throughout the entire game. As the Panzer Shrek finally gets into a troubling situation. Akers is so close to getting this flag. He needs to move these Falchion Jaegers here down into a position where they can pick up the flag. I think he's got them there to contest against this wedge of territory that I was talking about earlier. But perhaps now the Urzat's Troopin's moving back and the territory's changing hands, he might realise there isn't actually too much in there. He also has the Falchion Panzer Pioneer moving into position, so perhaps he will start to be more aggressive onto this flag. The Falchion Panzer Advia can also, you know, be reasonably decent fighting against infantry, so he might be able to use them as well. 13-11, four minutes left onto the clock. This is this is really tight as the Wirfroman looks to engage the... Uh, Flag. As the JU-88S1 comes in and obliterates the Panzergrenz down south. I didn't see that when it happens, but it does so. And Atkurtz brings it back to a 12-12. Pack 40 does go down there, and that was a key unit that Atkurtz needed to keep in place. He does get and is now able to hold that southern flag. If he can swing round through this tree line, destroy those Ursat's troop, and he could pick up more flags down south. I think that cuts. Or as the HS129B3 comes in, I'm assuming to... Well, it's the only target down in the southern side. The Panzer 4H should be able to get this kill. The Panzer 4H rushes forward, I think, to try and get out of line of sight of the HS129B3 and does break that line of sight so that... The B3 can't get the kill and backs away again. Actually, very nice micro there from Dark Neutron, but the Falchion Jaegers are pushing forwards. We need the Pan Falchion Panzer Advir in the area as well. They can certainly get the kill. We hear, I hear a ping up north. Ooh, just two single Falchion Jaeger holding the flag as the Wurfram and haven't yet struck that single compound. 12-12, Dark Neutron at Kurtz. Oh, and the 81 mil targeting the supply truck. Ah, oh, this is tense. This is so tense. Half track's pushing down the road. I think Dark Neutron's just desperate to grab flags. But there is a Falsham Jaeger in the area. We've got a pack 40 as well. We've got a Gurlit gun covering the north. So that isn't going to worry at Kurtz. <laughs> Oh, down goes the uh, Falsham Jaeger in the compound to the ME1 and IG2BR21 rocket strike. And Dark Neutron has some decent units up there to hold that flag. So gets the 1311. Three minutes 30 left on the clock. The uh, Panzer has gone down in the south to the Panzer Abwehr. And the Falsham Jaeger is engaging at long range. They should be okay here. But the half tracks will be a bit of a problem at long range. But, um,. Akers needs something else down south, but but he can make big, big gains if he does it. It's so close. I think he does need to concentrate on the south. That's his biggest opportunity, but obviously we we know that. He might not be aware of it. As an ME109 G2 BR21 rocket plane does come in to clear up the Falsh Omega again. Dark Neutron is really relying on these planes. And, I mean, he's doing fantastically well to hold on as a maverick income. The game's balanced as the HS129B3 comes in here, but the flag 43, 37mm immediately starts firing off. 37mm rounds gets the hit there. Coming straight after the Panzer 4H, and that B3 will go down. Oh, as the Whiff Roman strike comes in here, hitting his own man in the process. Not quite on target. No kills. They pinned down Falsham Jaeger, but no kills. The half track starting to move in. In fact, there's a big rush of units in here from Dark Neutron. Might be able to pick up a 14-10 here. The Falsham Jaeger are discovered in the buildings, although they should be able to kill one with the Panzerfaust. A good micro from Atkurtz to pull that one back. And back into another building. Needs to keep them out of line of sight, though. Needs to keep them out of line of sight. The Panzergrens move in. 12-12. The flag changing hands. 14 10. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, this is so tight. It's a Panzer 3N making moves up north, but we still have a Falsham Jaeger in the position. The SDK said 251 will now get the surrender. Another mu unit of Falsham Jaeger moving in there. Panzer 3N's back away. Oh, and the surrender onto the Falsham Jaeger in that center position does hand it completely to the control 
of Dark Neutron, 1410, 1 minute 22 left on the clock. Will Atkins have enough time? I'm not sure he will, but it's very close. He might. Who knows? Who knows? Falschemjäger forced back. They can't cross the open ground. They can't cross the open ground. It's just no mobile units on the south. And Akertz, he's desperate. I think he should just order an infantry attack. Order attacks. Order attack here across the center ground. Order attack here in the south, across the compounds. HS129 coming in. Just clean up. The, or the two Panzer three ends have been cleaned up. Might allow the Falschemjäger to move back in. 1311 briefly. There's a flag up here. Crew killed Marder 1. Oh, this is very close. 26 seconds. Reinforcing infantry comes in, so that maneuver across the, the south would just have desperately failed, but 18 seconds left on the clock. What can Atkurtz do? He doesn't have the, the mobile units to kind of race and get flags either. 10 seconds, he's not going to get an opportunity. Dark Neutron will win the game as Panzer 4 H goes down at the final moments. And uh, what a fantastic game that was. Thoroughly enjoyable. 41 minutes, 15 seconds. Dark Neutron picks up the victory. Congratulations to him. Many, many commiserations to Atka. It's a fantastic game between these two players. Dark Neutron with the victory, 3,760 kills to 3,590 losses. Fairly close in the kill-loss ratio there and just an amazing game between these two players. I will say this was the grand final of Division 4 in the Steel Division League. And it was a best of five, but I'm only showing one game between these two players. It seems like it's a shame because based off that game, all the others could have been fantastic as well. But we are only showing one game. Dot Neutron gets the victory and he was overall victor in the matchup between these two players. So congratulations to Dot Neutron. He is winner of Division 4 in the Steel Division League Season 6. Commiserations to Atkurtz, but very well done finishing, finishing runner-up. <laughs> oh, what a great game between these two players. What a great game. Let's have a look at the kills to losses and the ME109 G2R1 there. Look at the kills from this thing. Really focusing on those AT weapons and yeah, he did his job. Bauer. <laughs> Why does that remind me of 24? Was that the name of Jack? Was it Jack Bauer in 24? <laughs> Time travels back to World War II to take command of a uh, German aircraft. <laughs> Picks up several pack kills. Amazing. And Dark Neutron towards the end was really reliant on those aircraft. Um, kind of holding out. <laughs> Helping the 20th Panzer to hold out. So well done. Well done. Another ME109, B2R1, being used as a fighter bomber role. I think that is a fighter bomber and not the rocket plane. I think it's the BR21 that is the rocket plane variant. I mean, if you just look at the aircraft kills in this game from Dark Neutron, there are so many. I feel like perhaps if there's one takeaway for Atkurtz, then um, maybe somehow beefing up his AA in terms of units on the ground or trying to work on some air micro to pick up some fighter kills. He did a great job, though. He did shoot down a lot of planes as well. Um, this is Dark Neutron shooting down the HS129s. And actually, Atkurtz did really well with those HS129s. They did well. They got a number of kills. And the BR-21 here picks up the uh, Falsham Jaeger kill as well. So most of it, I, I feel like most of the big kills are from the aircraft. The grill here did a good job picking up the Stug 3G. Yeah, it was the Stug 3G, you know, the one that got obliterated. And we were trying to work out whether that was the grill or the... Um, boy to stalin it was the grill and i i thought it was because of the he kind of the explosion size was huge <laughs> huge 
Yeah, that group did do well. And it was a nice position up on the top of that hill. Hands of 3L here. This was in the centre town. Took out three. Stug 3Gs. It was very close range. So the Stugs weren't at the right engagement range. But nice work with the Panzer 3L there. He was certainly the golden man of that mo of that position. Let's have a look at the kills for Atkurtz. He did really well engaging the Falschemjäger. His, his infantry mi micro as well was really good, getting the Panzerfaust kills and the Panzerschreck kills. So very good job there as well. The JU-88S1 we saw come in at the very start. I mean, in terms of its kill list, the Panzergrem was probably quite an important kill. It allowed Atkurtz to pick up that flag on the southern side, but nothing really other than that, which is a costly unit. And I can't say whether that unit really paid off in terms of the entirety of the game. I think uh, Akers' unit is generally generally killing two, two, three units. He's not getting kind of like standout units that are doing like massive kill lists, but he is getting picking off units, two or three units with each each of his own. Hearth goes down to the pack forty Jungman in that center area. The flat forty one eighty eight mil here. This was kind of further up north, firing onto the centre hill, or the centre northern hill. Uh, did a fair amount of damage. I feel like Dot Neutron should have used one of his Werfram attacks to try and hit those Flak 41s. It's the perfect counter. He did it in the centre, and unfortunately for him, I think when he watches back the replay, if he hasn't done already, um, the, the, sh the kind of final destination of those rockets just seemed to miss everything didn't they so that was very unfortunate for him but it was the right kind of target if you do have rocket artillery flak 41s are the best target for them i i think Panzer Shrek here, Yap picks up the Marda 1 and the Panzer 3L kill. This was the one that I remarked that had done an exceptional job. Now, I think there was more than one Panzer Shrek in that area um, throughout the course of the game. And the Panzer Abwehr in the very far south did pick up that Panzer 4H kill. Yeah, that was... We didn't... We didn't... I didn't manage to point out the... Uh, at 40 that got the boy to Starling kill. Here is it. Just a single kill. Oh, Rich, Rich, Rich and Hein. Hopefully that's close. In the pack 40. Best kill of the game. Oh, the build up was just immense. And the payoff was outstanding. I just really enjoyed that moment. Really enjoyed that moment. As it stands, 41 minutes, 15 seconds. On all shitties, congratulations once again to Dark Neutron. Commiserations to Atkins. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed that game as much as I enjoyed that game. I feel like next season and, you know, in more tournaments, I am going to I am gonna cast more lower level division games. And there is a, there is a reason for that. I find them more enjoyable. I, I genuinely find them more enjoyable. And I actually find that the game mechanics are more intended as in these kind of sort of lower than Division 2 divisions. Um, I, I feel like up in Division 1 and 2, the mechanics of the game are... And I don't... I'm not saying this is player's fault, but the mechanics of the games are, are exploited in some sense that might be a too too much of a visceral word well exploited so to gain maximum efficiency whereas in kind of division three four five the game is sort of played more how it was intended i feel to be played and as a result i actually find it more enjoyable uh, to cast it's more fun so you will see many more sort of lower division games and we're going to see less division one games um 
Division one games, they're they're very efficient players. They're very very good players. I'm not trying to say these players aren't good players. The point that they're in Division one is for a reason, but. You only generally kind of get one mistake in, in those games and then the other player will win as a result of a mistake because they're very efficient and they know how to play and that was the wrong word. <laughs> they're very efficient and they know their exact game plan is to exploit certain things throughout the game and so they can take advantage of one key mistake in an area whereas a lower league player might not take advantage of, of it as much. And therefore, it allows the other player to get back into the game more easily. Hopefully, that explains a bit more what I'm talking about there. But yeah, I just enjoy... They are just more fun. And hopefully... I think you guys will understand from me commenting on that game that the last few games that I've been cast in, I haven't genuinely found as fun as that game there. Uh, that game was just fantastic. I loved it. And props to the two players involved. One of my most favourite games recently. <laughs> right, enough of me. Thanks very much for watching. I am Alpha Bird. I will see you next time.